So I'm here at uh, Doolin's camp. This is the trail into their camp. We have a couple guys in there, so we'll check it out. Uh, I think I heard that they were going to be fishing tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm feeling a little bit pumped because the, the guys at RGA, the RGA brothers are going to be um, cooking on Wednesday. So I'm excited about that just to show you guys. So here's Doolin's camp, their trail. I thought I'd Let me get the video ready here. I'm just hoping that um, I could stay on the trail here. <laughs> I didn't get to show you the view from, I don't know why I did, from RJ's camp. RJ Brothers, uh, I always enjoy going into their camp, hanging out with them, seeing their catch. Uh, I don't know if I want to walk in the snow. There's their trail, there's their wood pile. Here's Julian's house. This used to be the generator house. So they keep the generator and fuel and all that. To the right here is the cook house. And I see they've moved their generator house to the back there. Um, I don't know if there's anybody in there. house and they have one of the old wooden boxes there I don't want to go in unless somebody's there so this is what we call the modern day fishing so they're using the hello just giving the viewers hello do you guys have your book ready? No, yeah. So. Hello. Yeah. Just giving the viewers some. Are you guys heading out fishing? Uh, Is that your job? Right. Yeah. Oh. Where'd you get your dog? Uh, Billy Clayton. We did a bunch of everyone at the SPCA. I figured I'd grab the smallest male in the world. Oh, what's his name? His name's Weck. Weck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's we're, so cute. Weck for now until Tori gets back from Prince George and then she can name Yeah. What kind of dog is it? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, German Shepherd and I forget what kind the mother is. So cute. There we go. Aww. Are you guys getting ready for fishing? Uh, yeah, we, we went out last night and we got two buckets. Really? Two hours, so. Oh. Uh, that's just one night fishing the other night that it hit up good for us. We got three bins. 
Three bins. Yeah, you guys have quite a bit compared to the last time I was here. Yeah. Uh, after we hit the journey, we just get to have a punch and go and try our own, our own hoop out. Yeah. Huh. Is Norm here? Uh, he will be back this afternoon. We're going to go up and get some poles up in the next today. To oh. To the uh, uh, the oh, okay. So there's the boat. How many boats do you guys use on your fishing? Uh, just the two. Just the two? So you have the main punt and then you have the little... Race speed boat. Safety boat too? Yeah. With the tender boat. Last night we actually went with just the, just the, the punt. Yeah. The team and Jerry pulled in, pull in, in the other night. Pulled oh. in the one the hoop with one, one boat. Because yeah. Because it was rough out there. So we tried it last night and it worked pretty good. So. Awesome. Yeah, that's what Jerry was saying. He said it was really rough. Yeah. Yeah. If we have a... Uh, if we... If we have it in the paint, it's good that we went out there and we helped Jerry when he pulled his in there. It was, it was good to see. Crazy, we tried eh? it last night and we hooked off just the punch and it was pretty fun. Nice. So you guys are going to try fish again tonight? I think, yeah. We're going to do one more. Uh, we're going to try it every night. Until, I mean, even if it's a couple of buckets a night, it's still worth it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the experience is good too, eh? Oh, yes. Yeah. I noticed that there's more birds up above by the McKay Bridge, so yeah. I'm happy to see that. Yesterday I noticed that too. He came, came down and a lot more than there was the other day. Yeah, awesome. We just don't have the time from when we set, but every time we set, we set right at slack and pull right at slack. Right on the tide? Yeah, I just okay. don't have the time for that. Okay. But we do know how much we caught in between. Okay. So this is their tide books. I'm here just checking it out. 